I know for mine it sounds impossible, but it's absolutely doable to eat cheap in Manhattan. You just need to know where to go. I'm about to show you 10 places in Manhattan where you can eat with $5 or less. Hey everyone, I'm Mary Jane and I'm a digital nomad and I find myself staying in New York City quite often. I live on a super tight budget, so during the time that I stayed in New York, I got to know many places where to eat cheap in Manhattan. So in this video, I'm going to give you away for free all the knowledge that I got. In exchange for that, I ask you to please help me grow this channel like this video, share it with other people, watch the other content that I have about New York City on a budget that I link down below. Before we get started with the places, I prepared a custom Google map with all the places that I'm going to mention. If you want to get it, just send me an email and I'll send it to you within a day. First place I want to talk about is the Sunrise Mart on 42nd Street. Sunrise Mart is a Japanese grocery store which has actually a four location in Manhattan. But the one I prefer the most is the one on 42nd Street, both for its location and for its offer in the daily section. The location is perfect. In fact, I usually go there to have lunch while I work at the big public library on 42nd. And the offer that they have on ready to eat meals is incredible. I was so shocked when I went there for the first time because not only they have so much lunch boxes, ready to go things that you can bring with you, but the quality is actually really good and the food is always fresh. And the way you also can see that is that there are so many customers, so many people going to have lunch there and they are not tourists, as you can see, they are people in suits and ties. So there are people who actually work there. So they probably go there every day. So that for me guarantees the quality. And I actually tried myself some foods and even some sushi rolls with raw fish. And I got them for five bucks, not even. You get a box with six rolls for less than five dollars. And I can guarantee you guys, because I tried it, it's absolutely fresh and it's really delicious. There are even a couple of stools that you can grab, but be careful not to go during lunchtime because I told you it gets really crowded. Second place on the list has got to be Mamoon's Falafel. Mamoon's has become almost a an institution in the two villages. They actually have a second place in the East Village now. They have, of course, different sandwiches from the Middle Eastern tradition, but I actually suggest you to try the falafel, so the classic one at Mamoon's, which costs only $5 and it's absolutely delicious. The falafel balls are very crunchy and perfectly fried. And finally, at third place, my favorite dollar slice pizza spot, which is the 99 cent fresh pizza on 6th Avenue. This is my favorite one, especially for the crust, because I prefer a thicker crust that still has a crunchiness on the bottom. And this is exactly how they make it here. This little spot is very crowded, also because of the position, which is very central but they are so quick that you're not going to wait more than a couple of minutes, even if it's very crowded. Keep in mind that this place is really tiny, so there is no seat at all. So if you happen to go there in the winter, you're gonna have to either eat while standing in the place, if there are no other people, or you've got to be on the sidewalk. If you prefer thin crust, no worries. Dollar Slice Pizza places are everywhere in Manhattan. You just Google Dollar Slice Pizza and you will find the nearest one. But if you're passionate about thin crust pizza, I can suggest you Percy's Pizza, which is in the West Village. And because pizza is such a popular food in New York City, the next place is also going to be a pizza place, but of a higher quality and from a different nationality. In fact, I'm talking about an Italian restaurant that has two locations, one in the Financial District and one in the Greenwich Village, and it's called Queste. I've actually read that Queste is the best rated pizzeria in Manhattan on TripAdvisor. 
the owner is Neapolitaner and they import some products directly from Naples to make the pizza more similar to the original one. But the coolest thing about this place is that they follow an Italian concept that is pizza popolare. And it means that any person, no matter what their income is, should be able to afford a pizza. So you will see in the menu, they have loads of different kinds of pizzas, which are priced between 15 and $25, which is the regular price for a pie of pizza in Manhattan. But they have two kinds of pizzas, which are very basic one, a margherita pizza and a white pizza, which are sold for $5 only. And this is exactly the concept of Pizza Popolare, which I actually adore. And by the way, I discovered this place thanks to John Barr from the channel Here Be Bar, so thanks John. And now we finally talk about some Chinese food, which is the king of the cheap food in Manhattan. For the fifth place, I want to introduce you, if you don't know it yet, Vanessa's Dumplings. Vanessa's Dumplings is actually a pretty famous place. They have two locations, one in Chinatown and one in this village on 14th Street near Union Square. They specialized in crunchy fried dumplings and especially, I think they have three types, but my favorite one is always the pork chives. And they sell you a portion of four big dumplings for only $3. And I can assure you that they are very tasty. For the sixth place, let's finally talk about some American food. And if you don't know it yet, I want to introduce you to Shake Shack. Even if you're not American, you are surely familiar with American fast food, which means burgers, fries, all that stuff. But instead of going to very low quality places like the McDonald's or Burger King's or all those chains, I suggest you, if you are in New York, to try something a little bit more expensive, but definitely better quality, which is the chain called Shake Shack. It's a local chain, it's only in New York City. You can get a burger there for around $5, but believe me, it's gonna taste much better than McDonald's and other stuff. Let's go back to Chinatown now with probably one of the most famous lunch hole in the walls in Chinatown, which is Wafung. Wafung is very cheap because they give you a lunch box for $4.25. And for that amount, you receive some white rice with some meat. You can choose between roast chicken or pork chicken. but they are actually more famous for the pork. And the queue that you are seeing in this video is not random, it's actually always there. So this is also a guarantee that the place is actually valuable. For the number eight, I actually wanna mention a place that is right next to Wafung. And for this reason, it's actually very often ignored because it's not as famous. And it's the CNL Dumpling House. This is a good and very cheap hole in the wall where you can get a small portion with five dumplings for $1.50 or if you are more hungry you can get 10 for $3. They have the flat noodle with peanut butter sauce for only $2 and scallion pancakes for $1. So I think it's a really good place if you just want a snack or if you want to have a meal for very cheap. If you're not from New York, you need to know that the deli is a staple in the city. Delis are small corner shops that sell groceries, small electronics, uh, cigarettes and different kind of things. Basically all you can need in your everyday life. And they usually also have a deli section where they offer both hot and cold simple meals or sandwiches. They are so much spread around the city that the quality varies a lot, depending on the place. I'm usually not a big fan of delis, but there is one that I actually want to recommend you, and it's called Heavenly Deli. 
This one is actually very much frequented by the NYU students that go there to get their cheap meals. The nice thing is that they also have some tables with seats, so it's a nice corner in the shop. And it's also a good option if you're looking for a healthier meal because they make also custom salads. So if you happen to be in the area, why not give it a try? I gave you so many options on meals, but what about the snack? What about the sweet treat or a coffee? Well, a nice place that I want to suggest to you is Matto Espresso. Which is actually a chain. There are like 10 of them in the whole Manhattan. And it's not a normal coffee house because what's peculiar in that place is that they sell everything, everything for two bucks. So even if you want your latte or your cappuccino, you're gonna pay it only two dollars. But they don't only have coffee, they have a whole selection of cakes, muffins, sweet treats, cookies and all that good stuff. I can assure it's very good guys, it's got whole almonds in it. Just one thing, remember that it's not actually two dollars, but it's two dollar eighteen cents because you have to add the taxes, which if you don't know what it is, you should watch the video that I put here in the cart, because the fact is that in America, you don't really pay what the price tag says. These are my top 10 places where to get affordable meals in Manhattan, but it's not over yet because I have a bonus for you. It's not a place where you can actually eat, but I wanted to include it because it's so convenient. And it's the Hong Kong supermarket in Chinatown. It's a very big grocery store. Everybody in Chinatown knows it. And if you don't cook, of course, you don't need the whole food that they have here. But if you go downstairs, they have a whole floor full of snacks. So if you want to get some snacks, maybe even keep them in your backpack for the whole trip, just take a trip to Hong Kong supermarket and remember to go downstairs because that's where they have all the good stuff. Remember that there is a custom map for you with all the places that I mentioned. I decided to make it because I think it's a very handy tool if you're going around the city and you find yourself in an area and you're hungry, you just pull out Google Maps, look at my map, and you will find the nearest place that will save you from that huge number of super expensive restaurants that you are going to find in every street. So as I always say in my videos, traveling cheap is possible even in the most expensive places in the world. You just have to know where to go to avoid tourist traps and super expensive restaurants. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends and remember to check out my New York City on a budget travel guide where in 15 minutes I tell you all you need to know about visiting the Big Apple without breaking the bank. I hope you found the video useful, I hope to see you in my next one and until next time, take care!